Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's your girl Courtney Shavante here and I'm back with another awesome tutorial. This one is going to be for this beautiful scripting journal that I made here getting ready for the new year. So I hope you guys are as well. But you know the drill before we get started, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. So that way you don't miss anything that I do put out for you guys moving forward. What you're going to do to start out is just go ahead and unwrap your molds and everything. Um, these are just some molds for a couple of notebooks. Um, I'm going to be working with two at the same time so that way I can do the front and the back cover at the same exact time and everything. Um, you can find a pair of these on Amazon as well so make sure I link a similar one down below. Now what you can do is make sure you do clean the molds off with tape if you do see any like extra pieces of hair or anything like that on it because you don't want it to affect your final casting or anything like that. Add in some resin into your mold. I pre-mixed mine off camera and I'm just going to add a little bit and these are going to be the inserts that I am working with. Now just a heads up you guys, I apologize in advance because there is part of it that does cut out when I'm placing the inserts but you do get to see how all of them are placed and whatnot um, so no worries, um, you'll be able to get an example of each thing. But what I'm doing to start out is I am using my pressed flowers. I'm just kind of arranging these in a nice little pattern. Um, this is going to to be my back panel here and I'm going to kind of place them in between where the rings are going to be on the notebook. Now in case you're wondering this notebook is an A5 um, standard size so I will be using all A5 products and everything so that way um, when I put it together you know what type of paper that I am using and I'll make sure I have that linked below for you as well when we get to that step. Now um, what you're going to do is just take these skeleton leaves. Now the skeleton leaves are really thin so those place very easily and with the foils you're going to do the same thing that you pretty much do with your flowers. Um, just add a bit of the resin to the front of it and then place it down so that way it helps any of the bubbles. Um, you know it just kind of prevents those from getting trapped and everything. You're going to see me just go through and you know place all my different inserts and just getting a range and the pattern that really works for me. I also have some butterflies I'm going to be adding in here. If you guys are really feeling the stuff that I am putting into my resin, make sure you do check out my Etsy shop. I have most of these things inside of my mystery boxes that I sell on there. You can get so many dope things to decorate your resin crafts and really so many other different types of crafts with. So make sure you do check that out. It's definitely linked below for you. I also got a discount code down there for you too. So make sure you check that out. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and continue filling in these spaces. You want to make sure you have a nice even layer when you finish. So you do want to make sure there aren't any empty spaces at all um, after you pl finish placing all of your inserts and all of your items. Alright hippies, so this is what I have here after completing that first layer and whatnot. This is how I end up placing all of my inserts and I also added in some glitter in there as well. I used Fantasy Ride which is available on my Etsy shop. But yes, what I'm going to be doing on this step is I'm just going to be placing some lines using some painter's tape. I'm going to be placing them in between the rings so I can kind of cut this off because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be kind of doing a little two-tone type thing in the background behind all of the inserts which is going to glow in the dark which I feel like is really dope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix these little mica powders and my Polly urethane which is bright tone. Um, I will have that linked below for you in the description so that way you'll have it available. Now what you'll do is you'll just take your paintbrush and just paint over onto the desired sections that you want to you know put the paint on and that you want the color on and make sure that you know you add a nice thick layer so that way it's nice and you know you can't see through it so easily you want it to be a background but um we will be coming in with a colored layer of resin later so you guys will kind of see how it all comes together 
but yeah I'm just going to go ahead and take this brush and I just really want to fill in all these empty spaces I'm not worried too much about the space um, right behind the butterflies just because no one's going to be able to see behind it anyway so it really doesn't even matter and um, I don't want to make waste any of the pigment that I could put into the negative space um, on the butterfly so I'm just kind of painting around that so that's why you're still going to see those gold areas and everything just want to kind of clear that up for anyone who you know may be confused about why I skipped over it um, but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and with the paintbrush continue on through and let you guys see and then we're gonna let this completely dry Alright, once that's had a chance to dry, you're just going to go ahead and remove this painter's tape. It should be really simple to go ahead and pull off. Just make sure you don't pull the um, resin up out of the mold. You don't want it to kind of lift and create um, an open space to, for more resin to drip through later or anything like that. So once you get it all off and everything, you can go ahead and toss that painter's tape and everything. And then from there, you're just going to take a Q-tip and spray it with some alcohol. And then from um, with once you got the alcohol on that Q-tip, you're just going to go over it and just kind of clean up um, any spaces, those lines and everything. Kind of want a nice sharp edge because you can still see through in that clear area. Um, so this is just going to help mask that and make that line of demarcification like even stronger which is what I really want on here but you know if you don't care there's no need to um, I just kind of want this to be a nice crisp line um, and then after that you're just going to continue to let this dry completely Alright, so what I did was I went ahead and pre-cut some strips to kind of fit in these spaces and everything. I'm just going to crumble these up nicely to get some texture on them. It's some cellophane, so um, what I am going to do is just take this resin that I pre-mixed and just use this brush um, here, the silicone brush, and add a nice thick layer of it right here onto this clear portion. I'm going to let it overlap a little bit onto the purple as well well that we um, did in the last step and just go ahead and do that on both sides and this is going to kind of act as an adhesive for our cellophane here and I'm going to show you guys how we get it bubble free so we're just going to pour that on top and then you're going to start from the middle and then you're just going to start just kind of pushing the resin out from underneath and everything and pressing everything down and then you just kind of want to hold it in place and just kind of brush and brush and brush on top it's okay if you do need to bring the resin on top of the cellophane a bit as well um, you can go ahead and do the other side um, this side um, I did like kind of do it a little bit better and you're gonna see me <laughs> actually go back on the other side to do the same thing that I did on here on there so yeah um, I'm just doing pretty much the same method though starting in the middle and I'm just really pushing that resin out from underneath so that way it's carrying any little micro bubbles with it that may be trapped um, underneath that cellophane or anything like that I'm just going to make sure that I really adjust it the best I can and get it nice and smooth back there so that way it's not um you know lifting up over the sides of the mold or anything like that and just kind of disrupting the look 
to further ensure that um, I'm just taking like a little blade that I have here and I'm just going to kind of cut the cellophane into shape a little bit better if you are going to use a blade like this do be very very careful because you don't want to you know slice your finger or the mold um, because if you are going to be in close to the mold you need to make sure you have really good control otherwise just go ahead and use a pair of scissors I mean you I, I'm um, actually might switch over to a pair of scissors on here a bit as well so that way you guys can see better I can't remember if I did it I'm sorry if I don't but <laughs> if I don't then you definitely can and just get in there with some small little scissors and um, clip off the extra edges and everything so that way it'll be completely smooth and you don't have so many issues with sanding later it just makes the sanding and the demolding process a whole lot easier feel free to spray a little alcohol if you need to and then you're just going to let that cure for a bit All right, so hippies, we're going to start on our last little step here, or well, one of our last little steps, I should say. And we're going to just add some purple mica powder to a cup, and then I'm pouring some resin in here. And I'm also going to pour in a little bit of alcohol ink so I can get a nice deep purple color. And I really want it to be really, really pretty and kind of opaque. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm just going to mix it in nicely. Make sure that I whip up the um, powder so that way it doesn't clump up. So you do want to be mindful of that. I am also going to be adding in a bit of glitter. I used a very fine... Um, gold hollow graphic glitter that's really really pretty and it just sits perfectly in this purple and then i'm just gonna pull in the rest of that resin and mix that up as well you guys know i do that just to make the um color mixing process easier it just helps me eliminate those clumps a bit easier and a little bit of resin versus when the cup is full to capacity like this um, once it's mixed well what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and start pouring it into your mold and you're going to want to make sure you pour a nice even layer and get it nice and pretty and everything so that way um you know it covers everything so be mindful of how much you're pouring into each space because i wasn't paying attention to how much um i was pouring into these particular molds and everything um so yeah um just keep that in mind but you do want to go ahead and fill the each mold until it's full so that way um they are even and everything so you want to fill them to their to the basically to the rim um but so it does not overflow where the little holes are where the rings will go spray your alcohol and then you can swirl with a toothpick just so that way you can make the lines more interesting and everything and also diversify that glitter and also make sure that you know it just kind of pops all those bubbles and then you're just going to let this cure for a bit and since this is a larger piece we're going to let this cure for about 48 hours so we can make sure it's nice and strong Alright, it's time to demold these babies. We've let them sit for a bit, so I'm just going to pull each of them out from the mold. And if the camera moves, I'm sorry, I keep hitting it and everything, but we're just going to pull these little excess pieces off of the edges and get those nicely sanded down using our sanding block. Um, I have them linked below in the description for you. Make sure you always check the description because I always put the products that I use down there if I do have them available four um clickable links so yeah what you're going to do is just you know make sure you make a nice smooth edge because those edges do get sharp and they are just going to clean it off using a little bit of alcohol and a rag and that's just going to make sure it gets off all the excess little dust and everything and then you can go ahead and wipe your area down as well just to make sure it doesn't transfer back on to the piece 
once you gotten everything cleared off and cleaned and nice and sparkly you can go ahead and take your paper and also these little binder rings i'll make sure these are down for you below i got them off of amazon and it was super simple to get off of there i hope y'all have prime if not definitely sign up because that two-day shipping is love um you're gonna just go ahead and assemble your notebook from here i'm just placing these a5 sheets into the um mold and i'm opening up these little binder rings here do be careful um because like you know my hand, i don't know maybe my hands are just sensitive but i started my fingers opening these and everything <laughs> but be careful be mindful of that um whatnot take the front cover just go ahead and place that on top and create that nice little even stack so all the holes are visible you can see through them and then you'll just go ahead and put those binder rings on through and close them um, once you get it through and you're gonna see me repeat it for the other one as well hippie so I just want to include this quick clip right quick because um, what I'm doing and what I do um, usually off screen these days for every glow in the dark item I take this black light that I have here um, I just turn it on and I place it in the sunlight a bit and then I just go ahead and kind of go over this and everything and what this does is it's going to charge all the um, all the little particles in there that make it glow in the dark and then from there you know once it's charging everything it will glow now keep in mind that you typically won't get much glow without it charging um, if you don't have a black light you can get one from Walmart or Amazon I got mine from Walmart um, but I will find one on Amazon for you so I can link it below for you and everything and um, I believe like a UV light will work as well um, I've seen people use those um, so like what they put your um, put you under when you're getting your nails done things like that yeah so if you don't have any of those and you're not ready to purchase um, what you can do is you can just kind of put it in the sunlight for just a few minutes or so because I don't suggest putting resin in direct sunlight for a long time just due to the fact that you know it can change the chemical composition and make it yellow and all kinds of different things so yeah just a little friendly reminder on how to charge your glow-in-the-dark pigments here is our glow show this is what she looks like at night and everything or in the dark when you're locked up in the room or under black light she's absolutely stunning in the dark as well you guys know i am always here for making something glow in the dark like <laughs> i will make anything glow in the dark but yeah it has a nice strong glow and it's even stronger it really just doesn't do it justice on camera but this is how our baby looks in the sunlight she is absolutely stunning i love how these colors turned out i love how that painter's tape created that nice crisp line um creating the different colorways and everything i love how it looks like the glitter is kind of spilling over because of what i did with the glitter and everything like i am just so in love like with this piece like this is going to be my new manifestation journal i am a big believer in like you know manifestation and the law of attraction and things like that you know you can really get what you want out of life you just have to you know believe and put that work in sis like put that work in and I use this as far as scripting and stuff like that I actually have some personal pages that I've printed off for myself I'm showing you guys some blank pages so that way you know you can kind of make it your own and kind of think of it and I want to keep my stuff a little personal as well my goals I don't want everyone on but <laughs> yeah focus on your goals don't look anywhere but ahead so I want you guys you to be to like you know just keep that in mind going into the new year moving forward moving forward with yourself just keep leveling up and being a better person a better version of yourself all around I really hope you guys love this tutorial. If you did, make sure you leave me a like and a comment. I love hearing from you guys and I preach, appreciate you guys so, so much. So until next time, hippies, mwah, XO.